Hey developers, so in the last video, we set up uh, the Ace Editor to have this right here. So in this video, we're going to start configuring the Ace Editor to look a little better. As you can see, uh, for example, the font size is a bit small and we need to fix some other stuff as well. And by the end of this video, we'll have Ace configured and we'll be able to get the code from here and execute it and run it in the console in the Chrome DevTools. So this is the goal for this video and let's jump right into it in the code right now. So in the last video, what we did was initialize the Ace Editor uh, without any configuration and for this one we're gonna pass in some other configurations to edit uh, to configure the Ace to look a little better. So I'm gonna separate these into sections and say set up Ace and we're also going to need to bring in some elements from the DOM to have some event listeners on them, like the run and the reset button. So I'm going to do uh, retrieve, retrieve, if I can spell it, retrieve elements. And the two that I want to get right now is just um, the run and the reset button right here. So if we go back, I'm just going to do const. Uh, we can do the execute code button. And we can set this to document dot uh, query selector uh, by the class name. So the class name would be editor double dot run. And we can do this for the same thing for the reset button. And just get rid of execute and name it to reset. And same thing here. Now, what I'm going to do is also create an object that will hold uh, methods for the ace editor that we can easily call them. So I'm going to call it the editor uh, lib, I guess. And make this into an option right here. And now I'm going to have an init function just to add some configuration to the ace. And this is where we will configure ace with some settings. So there are some things we can do here. We can set, let's say, a theme. And to do this, you would have to. Uh, so we have the ace that we initialized, initialized right here in the code editor variable. So we can say code editor dot set theme. And here, what we can do is say ace theme. So ace comes with a lot of different themes. And if you can see in the library where we downloaded the ace editor files open that and keep going so you can see that there should be a lot of theme files right here and these are all the themes that come with ace so you can choose any of these that you want uh, but for the one I'm going to use I'm going to use the, the Dreamweaver theme right here so the way you do this is to say ace theme and whatever theme name that you want so I'm gonna say uh, Dreamweaver right here And that should allow it to have a different theme inside the editor right here. Although you can't really tell much of a difference right now. Let's try, uh, let's try Dracula, just to show you the difference. Uh, before that, we need to actually run the initialize function. So at the bottom, we'll just do editor lib.init. And I'll go back to the browser. There. So the theme has been changed, and you can see it's a lot different now from the code of our theme. So if we go back, what we also want to do now is have set the language um, that the editor will use. So for this, we can do code editor, uh, editor dot session, and we can set the mode. So Ace has some different modes. So similar to the theme, you'll find different modes right here with all the languages. But for us, we're going to use uh, JavaScript. So we can write JavaScript right here. And now if we go back to the code editor, you should see that there is actually some uh, syntax highlighting right now. You might not be able to see it right now. Yeah, but there is some syntax lighting, uh, highlighting right here because the language is now JavaScript. So 
So now back in the code editor, one more thing we wanted to do is add the options now to change the font size, um, font family, things like that. So this is where we're going to set options. And to do this, we can call code editor set options. And this takes in an option, uh, an object with a bunch of options. So you can find these options uh, in the documentation for Ace. If you just search up, if I open this up right now, you can search up Ace Editor uh, Config Options. And click on the first one. So you can see that there is a bunch of options right here that you're able to use and pick from. So I'll link this in the description below for you to have a look. But back in the code editor, we're going to use some specific ones. I'll change it back to Dreamweaver. So first I want to do a font family. Font family. And I'm going to do in consolata. And I'm going to do a font size of 12 points. And for the other ones, we're going to do uh, enable basic order completion, which is true. So that'll give us some kind of order complete in the code draw. And I'm also going to add copy in these two right now. Uh, not the last one, we don't need emits. But this will give us live order completion as well while, while we're typing. So that will do it for configuring all the options that we need. So before we use the order completion features, uh, we need to bring in an extension file from Ace to make this work. So if we go back to the index.html, as you can see, we have two files here right now, but there's one more file that we need to bring in, which is the extension language tools file. So I'm gonna copy this one down. And instead of this file, we're going to bring in, uh, let's see, the extension language tools.js file. So now if we go back to the browser now, there should be some order completion features once we type like this. So we get some kind of uh, order completion features we can use. Now back in the editor. So that about does it for the setup and configuration for Ace. But now I want to deal with the execute and reset button when we click it. So we can set the events right here. And for the first one, we can target, let's target the execute code button. And we can add an event listener of click. Uh, event listener of click. And we can run a function right here. So there are a few things we want to do. Essentially, we want to, we want to grab the code in the editor and we want to execute that code into the dev tools and run the results. So to do that, first we have to get the input from the code editor. So we're gonna get input from the code editor. And to do that, we can make a variable for the user code that they type in. And to get the value from the ace editor, there's a function called get value. So we can do the code editor dot get value. And that will take the value and put it in this variable right here. Now, what we want to do now is try to run uh, the code that the user put in. Let's say the user code. And to do this, what we're going to do is let's make a try. Oops, try and catch block. And we'll catch any errors that might occur. So here we can, you could execute it with the eval function, but I'm going to use a new function and execute that instead. So I'll create a new function and I'll pass in, a, it takes in a string for the function, but I'm going to pass in the user code that we took from the ace editor. And I'm going to execute that code right after it's created. Um, but to do that, we want to see this in the browser. So I'm going to console log this and now if there's an error we'll just console dot uh, error the error 
So let's give this a test. Now if we go back to the editor right here, and if we type console.log, let's say test, we should be getting a console log here when we press run. There we get um, test right here. Right, my mistake, we don't need to console log this here actually, because when you run the console log, it will already be console, console logged into the dev tools. That's my mistake right there. So now I want to deal with the reset button. And we can do the same thing, but uh, add an event listener on the reset code button. And we'll add the event listener. And we'll have a click. And run a function. So relatively simple here. All we want to do is just clear the ace editor um, of any code in there. So for this, we're just gonna clear the ace editor. And to do that, we can actually do code editor and we can set the value to an empty string. So let's test this out now. I'm just gonna do console.log again, test, and run this. That's all good. And if we reset now, and the code is gone right there. So to end this video now, what I want to do is add some default code in the editor. So right here, I'm going to create a variable for default code, which will just be a string with a console.log hello world. And this needs to be double quotes, just like that. And inside where we set the options, I'm also gonna set some default code. So we're gonna do code editor dot set value equal to the default code. And back where we did the reset button, instead of empty string, I'm going to actually use the default code right here. So that looks good. And one final test in the code editor again. Let's just restart this. And we have the default code right here. So if I run this, I get hello world in the in the dev tools. And if I reset, actually, if I add another console log, hello world two, and I will reset this again. It goes back to the default code. So that will be all for this video of configuring Ace. In the next video, we're going to look at putting this console log statements inside our actual console right here. Stay tuned for that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.